Alright, good evening. I'm going to show us today how to put a hole in a plastic page protector so that you can fit a folder through. As you can see, I've just finished a scrapbooking uh, spread on our trip to CNN, the studio tour. And we have these professional photos that I want to put on the page. Now sometimes you can just stick the whole thing to the outside of the plastic page protector, but in this case, this is so big that I'm afraid it will just peel right off. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to engage that. So we'll put that over to the side. This is the background page that I made uh, using colors from CNN. And I'm going to slip that into the folder. Then I'm going to put this exactly where I want it. And I've got a little uh, Cricut tool here. I'm going to put a little dot right at the end of where I want to make my cut marks. Okay, so that is now in the plastic. I have an extra piece of uh, cardboard here that I'm going to stick in. I can still see my two dots. It's probably pretty hard for you to see them, but I can see it right there and right there. And then what I have here is a pair of scissors. They're very sharp scissors, pointed ends. I'm going to take my ruler and line it up with those two dots. And what I'm going to do is just slightly score the plastic in between those two dots. Okay. Now that that's done, I'll just pop the plastic a bit and poke. And this is why it's important to have very sharp scissors. You see, I'm not actually cutting. I'm just sliding this along that line. And it usually just follows real nicely till I get to the point where I need to. And there we go. I'll stop. Okay, close my scissors. Uh, you want to make sure that your folder will fit through that slice you've just made. And mine's fitting nicely. Okay. Now, take a double-sided tape. And this is where I'm going to put quite a bit of tape on this again. Like I said it's heavy. I'll probably do three strips. Get a, get a third strip in here. Alright, this is where you have to be careful because you're going to slide this in to the plastic page protector without getting it stuck. Whoops. Got to take up my uh, protective piece first. There we go. Slide it in. You don't want it to be pressing down and getting the glue or the adhesive strips stuck, and so I'm just going to slide it in, keep sliding, so I get it to the point where it's supposed to be on the mat, there we go, and now I'm just going to press down. So there you can see plastic page protector, and this picture is inside the plastic, and this is on top, so that when someone's looking at it, they can open, this is still protected, and it's sticking nicely to the under. Uh, background pages. So that is how easy it is to slice the plastic. Now some people have said to me, oh doesn't that damage it? Well I've never had any of them rip or come apart, but frankly if they did I'd just take the whole thing apart and do it again, but I've not had that happen. Alright, thanks for watching. Keep scrapbooking. Take care.